almost 50,000. The next seven months leading to a no November referendum on slots could be long ones if the heated battles we've seen so far are any indication. It will ultimately be up to voters to decide whether slots come to Maryland, but campaigns on both sides of the issue are making their voices heard. Pro-slots advocates, including Governor O'Malley, say it's a way to bring much-needed revenue to the state. Opponents say it's morally wrong and may not bring the money the state says it will. Marylanders United to Stop Slots is one of the organizations speaking out. They kicked off a new campaign this week, and Comptroller Peter Franchot is part of that group, and he is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Patrice. Okay. Nice to be here. Tell me about your opposition and the group's opposition to having slots here in Maryland. Well, we have a very broad, diverse group from NAACP to the League of Women Voters and other organizations that oppose amending our state constitution mm -hmm. so that we can put slots in every corner of the state. We oppose that. We hope people will vote against it in November. We think it's just another tax uh, on working families. It's part of the governor's tax package. We, we oppose that uh, form of slots because we think it'll bring addiction and bankruptcy and crime to our communities. And we just think it'll damage the fiscal integrity of the state. Well, let me ask you, it, it will be up to the voters in November. And so far, polls are showing that a majority of voters do want this. So if the voters want it, why not let them have their say? Because when the voters do vote on it, I believe they're going to vote it down because they don't want to amend one of our most important government documents, the Constitution, with slot machines. Because we have a little bit of an economic slowdown, Patrice, mm -hmm. but that's temporary. Slots are permanent, particularly when they're in the Constitution. I think people are going to vote now. Those who are in favor of slots say this will bring some money into the state, uh, and that money can be used toward education. Otherwise, there may have to be some cuts in education. Well, well I just think that. that's we just think that's a false choice, and uh, you know it's unfortunate that we're put in the voters are put in that position of, of having to make. Uh, that kind of a choice. We think there's uh, uh, plenty of opportunity in Maryland to fund our infrastructure. Uh, we're a wealthy state and we should move uh, in that direction. We shouldn't bring slot machines in. Uh, that's just a, that's one of those false choices that's often given the voters. And I think they're going to see through that. And they're going to say, look, um, sure, there might be a little bit of revenue. It's not as much as they say. The figures are vastly inflated. But look at the cost of slot machines. The crime. Do you think putting slot machines in Baltimore is going to reduce crime in the city? Of course it's not. It's going to increase crime. Well, a lot of legislators will say, you know, it's easy to kind of be on the outside of it and say, hey, this is not the way to go when you're not the one on the other side who will have to figure out how to make up that revenue in the state, how to decide what should be cut, how to uh, affect programs that are, are or cut programs that may impact people's lives. Well, that's uh, I, I applaud our legislators. I've worked very closely with them and with the governor to get a whole tax compliance package passed by them, giving more money for technology and auditors to my staff so that we can increase tax revenue from existing taxes. I just don't think we should uh, bring the national gambling industry into Maryland uh, because uh, because we need a few dollars. We can, for example, grow our technology sector and, and uh, get good paying jobs with good benefits for our kids. We don't have to bring in these dead-end jobs of uh, casinos and slot machines. All right, well, let me ask you this. Some people say that your involvement in this campaign may actually be addition because it may be just politically motivated for a potential run for governor by you, and that that's drawing away from the actual issue. What do you say to those critics? It's just Annapolis parlor talk. Uh, it's gossip. It's uh, it's really ridiculous. Uh, we're, we're opposed to slots on the merit. We have a broad, diverse group of... Marylanders, uh, people should go to MarylandersUnited.com and check out the website and see who's on the steering committee. Uh, this, the question here is, what about the future of the state? Should we let slot machines in or shouldn't we? Uh, and we're saying very strongly to the voters, uh, when you look at the data and the information, be very skeptical because uh, in other states, slots have been a negative as far as their state's economy. And that'll have to be the last word. Comptroller, thank you so much for coming in this Great morning. Great seeing you, Patrice. Well, coming up, gas prices hit another record.